How is AML typically diagnosed? Often patients uh, present with symptoms uh, to either their primary care physician or sometimes to the emergency department uh, in treatment related or AML with myelodysplastic related changes. They may be seeing their oncologist uh, for a regular visit and, uh, and there are certain clinical findings that might be uh, seen by the clinician. So, so a physical exam, looking at blood work to, to characterize different changes in the blood in the myeloid lineage, so white blood cells, red blood cells, and platelets. And ultimately, the diagnosis requires a bone marrow biopsy aspirate uh, with testing for cytogenetics and genetic changes.